Welcome to 3ABN Kids Camp for Ready, Set, Explore, where we search nature out and have fun without a doubt. I'm your host, JB Scout, and we're going to talk about filters. We need clean water, right? Yes! And if we need clean water, we have to have good filters, right? Yes! Absolutely. Well, I'm so excited that you joined us, and thank you for being a part of this. Are you guys having fun at Kids Camp? Yes! Woo! I am too, in more ways than one. You guys are great. I'm so, having so much fun. But we're going to talk about different types of filters. Now, I have five of them, and one of them we're going to make together. Isn't that cool? Okay, yes. so let's, let me get started with some of the filters that we have here. And the first one is a cartridge filter. And this you can buy in the store and it's really easy and you just put it on a container, you just screw it on and you open this and you just drink from it. And it's a great filter. The only thing with this is if you have high sediments or high minerals, it's going to clog. And what happens? You'll be like, mm, and that will be too much. Okay, so the next filter is a really neat one. And I really like this filter. This is my main filter I use when I go backpacking. It's a cartridge filter. Um, it's actually a porcelain filter, okay? So what happens is you take the bottom off, you put it on your, your mug um, or your uh, water bottle. And I have a different one. You just stick it on top right there. And then um, you just use this pump and there's a filter there and you pump the water in. It goes through this ceramic filter and then it goes into your water bottle. It's really cool and it's a great way. Now it's a little heavy. You think this is heavy? See how heavy? Is that heavy? Yeah. Eh, not, a little, so. not too bad. What do you think? Think it's pretty good? It's heavy for a water filter. Yes, I agree. It's pretty heavy, but it's a great um, um, source to get water and be comfortable when it goes through this um, cartridge or this porcelain, which is kind of like a cartridge, then the water is good for you and you don't have to worry about it. So that's my favorite one. But here's another cool one that I like, but I, I always worry about this because it has batteries. It has four AA batteries in there, and when the battery's out, guess what? You're not going to get... Okay, let me tell you what, what, what's going on. I'm ahead of you. So um, this is built and designed as a UV filter. So it creates light. You know how you have lights up above? Well, this is similar, and it creates a UV ray, and it kills bacteria. So you stick it, see there's these little metal pieces and when those little metal pieces hit water, the light turns on and it lights up and it kills anything that's in the container. What's really good about this is as long as the batteries last, you have good water. But what happens when you need a lot of water and the batteries go? You have no water. <laughs> you have no water to drink. And if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere and your batteries go and you don't have charging ability, guess what? You're kind of stuck. You're going to have to um, make a sand filter. And that's our next filter. Okay, so a sand filter is kind of a neat thing you, that we're going to be doing together. And we're going to make this sand filter, but it's a two-step step process. And the two step is one, you filter all the bio and all the, the things, floaters and the things that are in it down through the filter. And then you have to heat it up on a stove. And this is a, a little stove and it's a little cup. It's metal that you can put right on top. You can heat the water. It has to boil for a couple minutes and then you let it cool and then you can drink it. Now, another thing that's kind of cool with a sand filter that you can use, and this is its own source too, is a, um, let's see, it's an iodine filter. 
I almost forgot for a second. So an iodine, um, it's a little pill that you get the water, hopefully it's clean enough and you don't have to filtrate it, but you put it in a water bottle. So you put one of these little pills in one of these water bottles, you put the water in it, hopefully it's a stream where the water is flowing, and then you shake it up and you dissolve that little pill and then you can drink it. Now, here's the thing that some people like and some people don't like is um, iodine doesn't taste that good to me. Now, other people, they don't mind the taste of iodine, but I don't like it. But anyway, with a sand filter, you could do the same thing. Instead of heat it up, you can use an iodine tablet with the water after you filter it in the sand, and then um, you can drink it, okay? So those are the five different types of filters that you can utilize when you're in the middle of nowhere and you need water from a stream, a river, but not from the seashore because of salt water. Okay, salt water is desalinization and you need a, a room the size of this to be able to put all equipment in to make salt water into fresh water. And I don't think you wanna take that in your backpack. No? no, no, I don't think so. It'd be kind of heavy. Okay, yeah. so are you ready to go? Well, we are ready and um, I'm excited to do this and I'm gonna show you how it's done first and then you guys are gonna do it then, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is I get a piece of paper towel and I just break that off and I fold it a little bit and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it inside as far as my fingers go and I'm just gonna stick it in there and you can let this um, go down. Um, and so there's, there's the, the material or the paper towel that's in there that does the final filtration. The next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get right in front of you right here. You can stay there and I'm gonna get some sand here and I'm gonna put it inside of this filter, okay? There, and now I have my sand, okay? And I put it on the end there. And then what I'm gonna do, just to be safe, um, charcoal is a great way to get rid of things that you don't want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this thing out and hopefully not get everywhere, and I'm gonna dump it in, okay? And so that's really good to get rid of stuff. Yeah, actually, you can just stick that in there because that's not gonna hurt. The next thing is I wanna put some more sand. So I'm gonna get over here, I'm gonna get some more sand, I'm gonna cover that. Okay, now we have the filter ready to go. The top is off so the water can go through. We, what we did was we cut off the end of it and now we're using it as a platform, which is kind of cool when it's done properly. And now we're gonna get this water. And now this is, oh, do you see that ew, stuff? That's, it, ew, that is terrible. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so Ugh. it is drinkable, step one, but not ready for us to ingest. So we're gonna, put that in there and it's a little dirty and we're gonna let that go. Okay, you see it? That's pretty clean water, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. That is cool. Okay, so we're gonna do a little more because the sand is kind of absorbing some of that water and we're gonna do a little bit more. You can see a little bit of the Whoa. charcoal kind of going in there, which as you know, you can, you can digest charcoal. You just don't want to do too much because it takes some of the minerals out that your body needs. But anyway, with pond water, you want as much uh, uh, this type of uh, carbon in your water because it gets rid of all the bad stuff. Okay, so here we go. We now have some water ready for the first of two phases, remember? We can either do the iodine pills and put that in there, let it dissolve, and then we can eat. Oh, goodness sakes, and this is leaking now. Mm. Or we can cook it and heat it up to a point where it will boil. Very good, thank you very much. And then we can drink it. Now, it doesn't matter if there's like a little sediment or minerals, you, you can still um, drink that and it'll be okay. But you have to use iodine or you have to use um, heated water. Okay, so let's get started. You guys know your groups. Why don't you get one of these? 
here you go, your group, and then your group here, and then your group over here, and then your group, and then the last group right over here. Remember, go behind your bench there, go around. That's great. Okay. Yep, come on, come on this side. Nope. Go back here. Nope, she, she can go right here. Okay. That's great. Okay, so now one person from your group, let's go get some sand. Okay? So one, one person of the group gets sand. The other one can stay. Okay, so get some sand. You ready to get some sand? Make sure you have the um, paper towel. Here, I can do that. Paper towel. Remember, remember that's first. Okay, good. Does everyone have the paper towel? Okay, good. Then let's do the um, sand. Perfect. Make sure you do it over the uh, container there. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Very good. Okay, that's good sand. Okay, go back to, yes. We need some charcoal. You need some charcoal. Okay, you ready? Here's some charcoal. You need one. Okay, charcoal. So I'll, yeah, just let your referee um, do it. Okay, you ready for your, so I'm gonna put that in there and hopefully we won't get it out on everyone. Yep, that's perfect. And we can just dump it in there. Okay, your next group, you ready for the charcoal? Oh, cool, here we go. Put that in there, that's good. We can just dump that in there. You can jump the, the pills right inside of the filter. Dump the pills right inside. Okay, and then you add a little more sand and then the referees are gonna be putting water in there for you. Okay, and you can mix it up and make it really Yucky. Get all the, make it as yucky as you can. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at all those sediments and leaves and, oh, algae, yum. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna start with you guys. Woo, look at that. Look at that. We seeing the water come through? Oh, it's starting to come through. Good, good, good. Uh, are you, you, you at the E water, huh? Is that the yuck water? It's called the E water. Ew. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. Cool. That's a good filter. I love it. Okay, you ready? Cool. This is awesome. This is a great filter. Good job. Okay. You need more water? Oh, you do. The sand absorbed it. Okay. How's that? You guys get, oh, you guys are perfect. Okay. Do we have enough water? Oh, we're doing great. Okay. So, what's the next thing that you need to do now? We need to boil it or? Iodine pills. That's right. Yep. I will take that and we'll just stick it right in there. All right. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for joining Ready, Set, Explore. And I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.